President Biden paused an arms shipment to Israel last week to prevent the U.S.-made weapons from being used in a long-threatened assault on the city of Rafah, administration officials said. The president withheld 1,800 2,000-pound bombs and 1,700 500-pound bombs that he feared could be dropped on Rafah, where more than 1 million Gazans have taken refuge, the official said. The administration is reviewing whether to hold back future transfers, including guidance kits that convert so-called dumb bombs into precision-guided munitions. The decision to delay the delivery of the 3,500 bombs was the first time since the October 7 Hamas-led terrorist attack that Mr. Biden has used his power to curtail arms as an instrument to influence Israel's approach to the war that followed. A number of Mr. Biden's Democratic allies in Congress have for weeks urged him to limit or halt arms shipments to Israel, something he had refused to do until now because of his strong support for the effort to destroy Hamas. Israeli officials disclosed the weapons pause to Axios earlier this week, but U.S. officials refused to confirm it either at briefings or privately until Tuesday night. The fact that they finally did so was a clear indication of how much frustration is growing among administration officials that their Israeli counterparts are not heeding U.S. warnings against a major operation in Rafah that could lead to extensive civilian casualties. Confirmation of the arms pause came just hours after Israel sent tanks into the city in southern Gaza. One U.S. official said the administration began reviewing arms shipments last month when it became clear that Israel seemed to be reaching a decision on a Rafah operation. Mr. Biden initially took the position that Israel should not attack Rafah without a plan to effectively minimize civilian casualties. But in recent weeks, the White House has increasingly indicated that it did not believe such a plan was even possible. The U.S. said it stopped the transfer of thousands of bombs to Israel last week over concerns they could be used in Rafah. Meanwhile, Israel has reopened the Karim Shalom border crossing into Gaza. The Israeli military said it reopened the Karim Shalom border crossing in the south of the Gaza Strip on Wednesday. Trucks from Egypt carrying humanitarian aid, including food, water, shelter equipment, medicine and medical equipment donated by the international community, are already arriving at the crossing. The army said in a joint statement with Kogat, the defense ministry body that oversees Palestinian civil affairs. It added that the supplies would be transferred to the Gaza side of the crossing after undergoing inspection. The border crossing was closed on Sunday after a Hamas rocket attack killed four Israeli soldiers in the area. Hamas is considered a terrorist organization by the US, EU, Israel and others. On Tuesday, Israeli troops took control of the Palestinian side of the Rafah crossing between Gaza and Egypt. A White House spokesperson has expressed guarded optimism that Israel and Hamas should be able to close the remaining gaps of a ceasefire deal that would lead to the release of hostages. Hamas responded, and there were amendments offered, White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby said. Again, that's the task of negotiating. That's what negotiations are all about. It's our understanding from looking at the text that we feel it suggests that we should be able to close these gaps. Separately, U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said in Washington that the draft under discussion was an offer made at the end of April. That's the offer that was on the table, he said. Hamas seemed to make clear, in their public statements that they accepted that offer yesterday, Monday. That is not what they did. They responded with amendments. Call it a counterproposal if you want. And we're working through the details of that now. The U.S. paused a shipment of bombs to Israel last week over concerns that they could be used in an assault on the southern Gaza Strip city of Rafah, according to a senior Biden administration official. The official said the administration began to carefully review proposed transfers of particular weapons to Israel that might be used in Rafah beginning in April. As a result of that review, we have paused one shipment of weapons last week, the official told reporters. These weapons consisted of 1,800 bombs with a nominal weight of 2,000 pounds, 900 kilograms, and 1,700 bombs with a nominal weight of 500 pounds, 225 kilograms. It marks the first time the U.S. has acted on a warning that President Joe Biden made to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu last month that U.S. policy on Gaza would depend on how Israel treated civilians. More than one million Palestinian civilians have sought shelter in Rafah after evacuating from other parts of the Gaza Strip amid Israel's military offensive. Israel launched its assault on Gaza in response to the October 7 terror attack by Hamas militants. We are especially focused on the end use of the 2,000 pounds bombs, 
and the impact they could have in dense urban settings as we have seen in other parts of Gaza, the official said. We have not made a final determination on how to proceed with this shipment, they added.